Crystal of Amway here, and I've got some tips for you on how to choose the best real estate agent. I got a call this week from a gal who's looking to relocate here to the Phoenix area. And she started the conversation off saying that she'd had a falling out with a real estate agent, and then she broke down in tears. She was so upset. It just wasn't working out between her and this agent, and she was really desperate to find a home. I realized that a lot of people don't put enough thought into choosing a real estate agent. It's a big decision and you definitely want to take the steps to make sure that it's a good match for the best outcome. So what I would do if I were you and I was looking for a real estate agent is I would start by talking to friends and family and seeing if they have any referrals for you. Now it could actually be a friend or family member. It doesn't necessarily mean they're the best person for the job. And in fact, a lot of times they're not. So it's important to run them through this whole process to decide in the end if that's the best person for you. It's a lot easier to get out of a relationship with a stranger than a friend or family member. Get a couple of names and then set up some interviews for the interview. Go and Google that person's name. Now seriously, if you're looking for a real estate agent and you cannot find them on the internet, it's, it's a big red flag. I mean, real estate is on the internet look for reviews, kind of see if they have any sort of blog posts or videos or anything on there that kind of tells you a little bit about who they are and what they stand for. So the interview begins. A couple questions that I think it's critical that you ask in the interview. First off, do you work full time or part time? Honestly, if you're not working with somebody who's in this full time, don't expect great results. Somebody who's squeezing it in between their day job, forget about it. It's a tough business. They need to be working in it full time and find out if they're actually closing deals, you know? I mean, really, if they're able to make a living at this business, chances are they know what they're doing. Next, tell, ask them to tell you a little bit about their experience, about some stuff that they've done. Now, years in the business may or may not really be a good predictor of how successful that person is in this business. There's a lot of agents who've had their license for 20 years and have closed 20 deals compared to somebody who got their license last year and closed 20 deals. So focus on not just how long they've had their license, but what they've done with it since they've got it. And ask them to tell you a little bit about a couple of their transactions. Find out how they work. Are they good problem solvers? You know, are they looking for a win-win solution or are they slashing burners? Because honestly, team players are gonna be more successful in this business than slash and burners. You wanna work with somebody who's got good engagement with the community, who has a lot of good resources as far as as networking and things like that. Now, once you kind of know what their qualifications are, ask them specifically, what are your plans for helping me achieve my goals? If you're working with a buyer's agent, how are they gonna find you listings? How are you gonna communicate? How does the, the offer process work? Can you help me get a lender? How about the escrow process? How does that work? What can you do to help me there? Let them tell you what they can do for you. If you're looking to list your home, you're gonna sell your home, What's the marketing plan? Now you already know whether or not they have a good internet presence. They better be marketing your property on the internet. What's your pricing strategy? How about pictures, videos? Do you do that kind of stuff? What if planning doesn't work? What are you gonna do to get me the best price, you know, the best deal if the first initial wave doesn't work out? Let them lay that all out for you. Ask them about dual agency. That is that they're working both sides of the transaction. This is a very telling question to ask, I think, because agents who are big proponents of dual agency are oftentimes not really looking out for their client's best interest. They're looking out for their own. They want to double dip. I don't really see how you can re represent both sides of the, of the deal and, and really do your job. It's particularly important if you're interviewing a listing agent because somebody who is really looking out for your interests they're not going to bring their own buyers in. I mean, they're getting a little bit of a double dip action. So yeah, they're benefiting, but are you really getting the most money and the best terms? Maybe yes, maybe no. So good luck interviewing your agents and really take a little extra time to make sure you're working with the right person. You do not want to end up crying on the phone to a complete stranger because you've hired the wrong person, okay? Love to hear your thoughts and your experiences on how it's going interviewing the agents or the brain surgeon.